It's time to take five. Now you know. We're visiting Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center, a Palm Beach Health Network hospital. Today we're speaking with Dr. Christopher Boys, a vascular surgeon, about vascular disease and the T-CAR procedure. Doctor, tell us about the types of conditions you treat as a vascular surgeon. As a vascular surgeon, we treat a wide range of both arterial and venous disease processes throughout the entire body, including aneurysms, peripheral vascular disease, advanced stages of peripheral vascular disease, including critical limb ischemia, which put patients at risk for developing gangrene and potentially amputation. We also treat dialysis patients, carotid artery disease. I don't believe that there is a single cardiovascular procedure out there that this hospital doesn't provide. Can you discuss some of the treatment options available at the hospital? So Palmish Gardens Medical Center is a full cardiovascular hospital. We treat a wide range of cardiovascular diseases all over the body, ranging from very simple, minimal invasive procedures to very complex procedures. What is carotid artery disease and how common is it in the United States? Carotid artery disease is when plaque builds up in the carotid artery in the neck. The risk is that if a piece of that plaque breaks free, it can travel up into the brain and cause a stroke. Carotid artery disease affects over 200,000 patients every year and is a major contributor to stroke. Who is at risk for CAD? So patients that are at risk for carotid artery disease are patients that have a family history of carotid artery disease, any current or former smoker, any patients that have had coronary artery disease, renal failure patients, diabetics, etc. Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center was one of the first hospitals in northern Palm Beach County to offer TCAR, or transcarotid artery revascularization, as a new treatment option for high-risk patients suffering from carotid artery disease. Can you explain how this minimally invasive procedure is performed? The traditional way, and still currently the gold standard for treating carotid artery disease, is an operation called carotid endarterectomy. That's essentially when we make an incision on the side of the neck, we open up the artery, we scoop out the blockage, and then we repair the artery with a patch. Transcarotid artery revascularization, or TCAR, is essentially the next evolution in technology to treat carotid artery disease. We make a small incision at the base of the neck, and from that incision, we insert a sheath, and then through the sheath, we insert a stent into the carotid artery to open up the blockage. Every year, close to 800,000 people suffer a stroke in the United States. How does the TCAR procedure help reduce the risk of stroke? Anyone that has had a stroke because of carotid artery disease has a 30% chance of having a recurrent stroke over the next two years. The idea is to treat carotid artery disease prior to a stroke occurring. Carotid endarterectomy or transcarotid artery revascularization, any procedure that we do, always carries with it a risk of causing a stroke. The TCAR procedure is the lowest stroke risk of any procedure that exists. The stroke risk for TCAR is 1.4%, and that's why that it really helps reduce the risk of stroke during the procedure and also after the procedure. What are some of the potential benefits of the procedure? Other potential benefits is that it's a very small incision at the base of the neck, maybe an inch to an inch and a half in diameter. There's essentially no pain involved. Recovery is one day in the hospital and then you're able to go home the next day. General anesthesia time is reduced, less risk for complications for stroke. Generally, it's the next evolution in treating carotid artery disease. What advice do you have for patients who may have pain, numbness, or discomfort, but are delaying care? Patients that have any pain, numbness, or discomfort should not be afraid to seek out their primary care provider. You could have vascular disease, and it could progress and become a major problem. If you have any of these symptoms, you really need to reach out to your primary care provider and seek help immediately. Thank you, Dr. Boys, for all of this helpful information. We hope everyone understands it's important to take care of your health. And if you're experiencing vascular issues, please do not hesitate to go to the hospital. The doctors, nurses, and staff at Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center are there to keep you healthy and safe.